Korea, the place embedded in 5,000 years of history, where tradition and modernity coexist in harmony, are guest English teachers that come from all over the world. They are teachers of the English program in Korea. Now, many new challenges await them. I understand that I've actually accomplished my goal, which is to have them uh, feel comfortable with the language. So far, it's been one of the best experiences of my life. What on earth brought them to this place? It was a fairly quick process to adapt here. And I've had a great time, and I know there's lots more I haven't seen yet, but I'm staying another year, so I'm sure I'll see everything. What changes their lives? Even though they are all from different places, they are now shaping a new future with Korean students. The eagerness for education in the Republic of Korea is higher than any other country in the world. Of course, English education is not an exception. To improve English speaking skills, Korean government has invited and supported native teachers to teach English in school since 1995. Everyone I've met has been really, really nice and really helpful. They make it easier for me to be away from home. I really enjoy, it's not like work, it's not like a job. I have fun coming to school and teaching. It seems that Maccabat has felt a sense of achievement while enjoying his work at the same time. How about students? It seems like both teacher who teaches the students and students who learn from the teacher have got a new friend. Children do not study English compulsorily anymore. They study English by themselves to talk with their teacher in person. Mr. Nathan Jarnke, who have grown stronger through various experiences in Korea, is teaching English in Bunei Elementary School in Incheon. I think coming to Korea and becoming a teacher has broadened my horizons. I've experienced many things that I never would have if I hadn't come here. In addition, the Korean government is doing its best to offer housing, medical insurance, and days off so that it would make it easier for the teachers to perform their duties as the teacher. Well, first of all, uh, the apartment is very nice. Uh, it's very clean, and uh, the view is amazing. And. Uh, the benefits are uh, also very good, the health insurance especially. His girlfriend, Carly Harbridge, who came to Korea with him, is also a native teacher. They said the experiences in Korea are unique things all together. So I've heard that today is a special day in Korea, that today is Teacher's Day, and the students present um, all of the teachers with carnations, flowers, and they pin them on um, as a sign of respect and, and love for the teachers. Uh, I went to download a show, and it was downloading at, I think, 500 kilobytes per second, which is about 50 times faster than it would at home. I had heard it would be fast here, but that sort of blew my mind a little. Nathan and Carly look satisfied with their life in Korea, considering that they plan to stay in Korea for some more days. Ryan, who came to Korea as a conjugal teacher in spring 2007, is fully satisfied with the life here as he gets along with every Korean around him. Uh, when we first got here, again, I didn't know any Korean really. Uh, my wife and I, we're using our phrase book to get around. And uh, now I'm more comfortable with the language and uh, certainly more comfortable with my coworkers. 
and so it feels like I uh, really belong in the school now. When I can see that spark in their eye, when they have finally understood something, uh, I understand that I've actually accomplished my goal, which is to have them uh, feel comfortable with the language. And so uh, lately that's been happening quite often. That's my favorite part. How do students and co-workers think of Ryan? When you are dealing with children from another culture and your work environment is in another culture, a language you don't understand, you need some sort of training before you get here. So study the language, study teaching, and then you'll feel much more comfortable when you get here. The native teachers are not only teachers who teach English to students, but also learners who learn the Korean culture. They experience the foreshore with students and feel the quiet and still mood of temples in the mountain. Opposite to what is like in the school, here are many things that they can learn from students. Indeed, it is a marvelous experience. The city municipal of Gangrung invited 100 native teachers throughout the country and offered programs so that they could experience the traditional culture of Korea in Gangneung Danajae Festival, designated as a UNESCO World Heritage. Like many others who participated in the festival, they all marched with a lantern in hand, feeling the warm welcome of many citizens. The City Hall has organized a day for us to experience the Dano Festival, so it's really nice to learn about uh, this. Gangnam is a beautiful city. Everyone is so friendly. They give us makgeolli, and I get to carry the lantern to put in the river. Also, they experience the real life of Koreans in person while staying at Gangnam Sun Gyojang, the best traditional style house in Korea. I've heard about them and seen them through other pictures of other travelers, yes, yes. But to see it firsthand, yes, it's, it's, it's quite relaxing. There are some other Korean children uh, decorating a mask, and so I looked at theirs and they were really beautiful, so I took some ideas from them and, yeah, so it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I've had a great weekend. I really liked the program and we got to see a lot of different areas. and. Uh, things that I've never seen before and it was very informative and very well presented and put together. Foreign teachers who came to Korea anticipating challenges. Here in Korea, a country so small but affluent, so strange but kind, they are experiencing the power of the change that result from their choice. Thanks to them, children dream future, so their life has changed also. I chose to come to Korea because I felt it was one of the more stable Asian countries to teach in. Also, I thought it would be a challenge to teach in Asia. That's why I chose Korea. I've really enjoyed working with my students here and I will be coming back again to come and teach um, for a year or maybe longer. Um, and it's been a great, great experience. Um, so far. Uh, I think it's an excellent opportunity for both the students to learn English and to work with children, which is something that I always enjoy doing. Um, I really enjoy teaching in Korea. It's been a really rewarding experience and the students are always eager to learn English and have a lot of energy and it makes it a really fun, exciting time. EPIC is the most reliable English education program supported by the Korean government. Many teachers are making their future in the best conditions. However, Korea still needs many more native teachers. Here are still many teachers around the world who have not yet come to Korea. That is you. Change your mind and so will the future. <laughs>